Rhode Island seeing an influx of a destructive and invasive pest thanks to the drier than normal May. The gypsy moth caterpillar population is on the rise and causing big problems for trees. Here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with what you need to know about the insects new at 530. Winter moth caterpillar numbers are down this year, but the gypsy moth caterpillar population has made a big comeback. These fuzzy little critters have caused big problems in our trees, defoliating 43,000 acres in Rhode Island just last year. There is just so many caterpillars out there right now. Back in the early 1980s, nearly 18 million acres of trees in the Northeast were defoliated from these voracious eaters. Since the early 80s, we haven't had very much of a gypsy moth population problem. They build up every now and then, but last year was... Last year was pretty remarkable. Heather Fulbert, a research associate at the University of Rhode Island, said last year's weather boosted the gypsy moth caterpillar population. What was really remarkable was May. We had almost no rain. Normal rainfall in May can actually limit the population of these caterpillars, but most of last May was very dry. What happens in the dry weather is the diseases that normally keep the gypsy moths in check weren't working. So there's a fungus and there's a virus that does most of the work controlling gypsy moths. And those weren't spread around last year. That high population carried over into this year, but Fulbert is hopeful Mother Nature will help control this year's caterpillar numbers. Hopefully they're going to all die off, or most of them are going to die off because we'll have more normal weather this May, and the diseases will spread, and the population will crash. And the gypsy moth caterpillars typically eat away at our trees into the end of June. In the weather yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.